So what's the message behind Jeff? And who the fuck is Jeff? Oh, fuck. Man, dude, that is everyone's dude, favorite. Fuck. It's been like there's been so much buzz around Jeff, and I don't like to sing Jeff. And I don't no, wanna, no, you don't. I don't want to play. He's Jeff. so shy. Like, it's just like I just don't. I wrote that song about. The, I used to work at Home Depot before. I, like, was, I've been on and off. Whatever. In between welding jobs, I, I got in at Home Depot, and uh, there was this old man. One of my supervisors. His name was Jeff. He's the old ass dude, like just always working, always on your ass, always, you know, good work ethic though, you know, good guy, good natured guy, but it was just that old man that doesn't know when to stop, you know what I'm saying, it's one of those guys, so I was like, you know what, it'd be a good song, so I just wrote a song about him, and uh, the rhythm, I think the rhythm I had before, so the lyrics kind of just carried on and laid on top, but it just all worked out, but that's what Jeff is about, that's the one I sing, like it's, it's on the first EP, so if you go listen to our first EP, there's Jeff, Gil, What's It Gonna Be, and Enough, those are the four. And there's this me on guitar and me on bass, and I only sing Jeff, so, yeah. Dude, you sound good, dude. You sound, Thanks. like, very white, almost. <laughs> very almost. white. Like a mix of very white and very man Thanks. Something buddy. like that. Wait, I thought you said very white. I was like, some compliment. <laughs> I'm very just kidding. Right, right, very white. <laughs> <I'm> very white. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, man. But the, that studio's fun. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Just going back well, to thinking. Yeah, studio time is really it's fun, actually. Fun. Sometimes we want to, like, rip each other's faces off. But I think that's like the whole point of yeah. hopping in the studio to begin with. I think that was our first time in the studio at Street Lamp, so that's what I'm saying. So I had fun. never been in a studio. He, he's been yeah. in the game for so long, and he kind of just brought me on a few years ago. And so I'm still fairly new to everything. Yeah. And I mean, I I didn't know how like the process went in the studio. He kind of had to guide me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh, okay, well. Well, how'd you get involved? How'd y'all get How'd well, this like, happen? I've been playing, well, like I said, I've been playing bass for, like, I was 12, 13, so I've been playing cover bands, you know, with my buddies, with my friends in high school, we had a big band, like, in my hometown, play, like, every weekend, and then, of course, I go to college, graduate, I play for uh, La Diferencia, yeah, you yeah, know, I was playing yeah. bass for a long, long time, I had my own band, something really, you know, working out, so I'm going, going, moved to San Antonio, and then, uh... Well, we've, we've been dating for almost, like, eight years. Yeah. For a long um, time. So when we first met, I I never sang in front. Like I didn't really sing much. He knew that I was a singer, but it yeah, was yeah. never like anything that I was like wanting to do because I was very shy and I didn't want to sing in front of him. Of course, I was like, oh my god, that's my boyfriend. Like what? Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna do that. <laughs> and uh, so I think like three or four years into our relationship, um, you were playing with another band, right? Yeah, I was playing with Lovey Valencia and Freddie O. Shouts to Freddie O. He might not see this, but yeah. <laughs> It was, like I said, we, I was playing with bands already. They, nothing yeah, yeah. really worked out. But we had a gig. This is before I started playing guitar, obviously. We had a gig uh, in like Astro, Texas. Something yeah. weird. Yeah. And I told my friends, I'm like, yo, like, this girl can sing, man. Like, I, no, we should take her, you know? So yeah, we, yeah, yeah. They were like, all right, let's do yeah, it. I was so like, we, can I sing one song? And it just turned out to be the rest of the game. Like, yeah, it was just. Oh, no, we, we jammed with her the night before, and they were like, yeah, she's singing. Like, for sure. She's yeah, singing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how that happened, man. Just kind of hopped in because I was already in it, you know, just playing around. We were doing playing gigs around Texas and stuff, and she just hopped in right into They it. threw me to the dogs, man. Yeah. And what, yeah. If you know about like Bar- performing in and live gigs and, and shit like that, yeah, I did not have a. Dogs. I didn't have a monitor my first gig, yeah. so it, it's basically like the speaker facing you to see what you sound like. Right. And right. I had never even sang in a band before. Like I, this, I was just like, so what am I supposed to do? And they're like, yeah, you just trust your gut. I couldn't hear myself at all. Like, yeah, I yeah. was wailing oh, with no direction. I was like, oh, all right, shit. fuck it. And I mean, <laughs> it just, it happened to work out. And then we started performing together like that. And like, not, mind you, I'm playing bass. Too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're playing with this band, you know what I'm saying? We're playing with the band, uh, Audio Trip, Freddie Freddie and Audio Trip. And uh, that's when he was like, oh, I just want to do it anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I had to just jump in. And that was when I was like, we weren't even street lamp yet. No. Like, it was just something. Yeah. I don't even know. We just went and we played. What we was just... no our first name? What was the name that we did at the backyard? Dude, I don't even. I remember think it was like the undercovers or it like some something. The weird. usuals. The, the unusual. The unusual. The unusual. The unusual. Because so. people like we played in our little hometown, so everyone was so used to seeing like the same people playing, uh, same gotcha. people playing guitar and everything, and so it was kind of like introducing something that was not really usual yeah. to the yeah, scene. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, and playing those. Okay, and then and we come out with Street Lamp, right? And uh, I'm playing guitar, and dude, we were playing these fucking four-hour cover games, bro. Damn. And mind you, I just started something like. Fuck. <laughs> 
And you can hear it. You know, so yeah, you, know yeah, when, yeah. you know when a guy barely starts. You know when his band is like tip top. You know, not yeah. you know like they're not fucking up. They know what they're doing. But I'm just like, fuck. I'm like hanging off the deer for like <laughs> four hours, man. Four hour gigs. Like oh, it would be like four 50 minute sets, ten 15 minute breaks in between. Bunch of cover songs. You know? Yeah, yeah. Awful, awful. Shit. Oh, awful. thanks, Dave. I don't want to do that again. Right over, right over there. Oh, yeah. The mic. Top notch. Green tea. Yeah. Damn, dude. Are you smoking? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dave is actually smoking right now. Smoking some. I'm smoking bacon. a turkey. Smoking <laughs> some turkey. Bacon. Hey, smoke turkey is underrated. If you can go to a barbecue place, this is how this is how I know a barbecue place is good. <laughs> Try their turkey. It, it's turkey is such an underrated meat from anywhere. But turkey is like, oh, it's so good. If they got a good smoked turkey, like Rudy's is good, but Rudy's is like, eh. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. To me, Rudy's like the McDonald's, no, no disrespect to Rudy's, they're like the McDonald's of, uh, of barbecue, you know? Yeah. Or no, actually, I take that back, that's how Bill Miller's is a McDonald's oh. barbecue. <laughs> yeah, a little more respect on Rudy's, you know? Bill Miller, yeah, you make yeah. me see my tummy, but it's okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, if they got a good turkey, that's awesome. Like, there's a place called El Monte on Bandera, little spot, man, yeah, little, little, little spot. spot. It yeah, is yeah. so good. Shouts to El Monte, good place, good, really good. Hell yeah. yeah, you just have to sell like a kidney to eat there because yeah. it's really expensive. It's a little pricey, but... it is. You're a little pricey dog, but you're good, man. I'll give you that. It is yeah. really good. It's on, you said Bandera is that that's I think it's on, no, uh, it's, it's in Leon Valley. Yeah, yeah. it's on Bandera. Yeah. Little, 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 little. I think it's by 2 and no ice cream, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 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 Ice cream is hot. yeah, so you can go to El Monte yeah. and you put it to one of ice cream, you know how to I mean, everything on, good on off of Bandera going into Leon Valley, like, there's so much stuff. For real, like, dude. Like, it's insane. So whole other, it trips me out, San Antonio's a bunch of little cities. I mean, we're from a small town, we're from oh, Del Rio. Yeah. So it's a little town, like 30,000 people. Yeah, and literally, yeah. San Antonio's a bunch of 30,000 people, little towns, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just like, yeah. packed yeah. together. Yeah. And then you go outside of 1604 and there's like a bunch more. So. Yeah, you like you it's drive real. like forty minutes and you're still in San Antonio. Like, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. crazy. So we're from that little rural town. So yeah. we've only been here eight years. Since so a long we've been. No, not eight years. Maybe six. Right? You've been here eight years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. We've been here a while now. So. I don't even know what day it is. I don't know what <laughs> month it is. It's hard to keep track of the years with the pandemic because it's like, do we count that year? Yeah, right. Can we just act like it just didn't happen? Shouts to the pandemic. Shout out yeah. pandemic. Honestly, a lot of a lot of bands. Well, this is something we always talk about, like when we do uh, like little interviews and stuff. Like a lot of bands came out from from the pandemic. A lot of, a yeah. Lot of, a lot of stuff. yeah, a lot of. Well, even our bass player, man. Our bass player he, and our drummer. He hasn't yeah, really yeah. been playing for that long, and oh my god, he, he shreds. Off, but man. it's because he he was, you know, born through the, the pandemic. Yeah, it's like, the, the lockdown really. Oh yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. The lockdown called. really helped people find like what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and my, my whole shots of fun. We were talking about this earlier that um, that the, the pandemic, pandemic and the lockdown helped people realize like there's more to life than just capitalism. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. there's 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 people have hobbies now and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like people are fishing, people are like biking, hiking, you know, playing music, a lot of that's going on. So I think that's cool. Shots of fun. Yeah. Oh, I loved the lockdown. <laughs> Creative yeah. renaissance. It really was, man. So that was like an introvert's dream. I was like chilling the whole time. Everyone's like, I'm going crazy. And I was like, bro, I could be in my house all fucking day. Like, that is so funny. But I also feel like the pen or the lockdown killed a lot. Yeah, yeah, totally. Killed a lot of bands. Like a lot of people kind of. Well, like, killed a lot of people in general, man. Like, yeah, people but lost their <laughs> shit. I just like, people died for real. No, they, I mean, yeah. Well, like, not only that, but it's also all right. Look, I don't mean to like steer the mood of this, but I just think I think that mental health like is such a big thing to focus on. And if I can get that message out there, like, don't be afraid to reach out, man. There's so many resources. And all of that isolation definitely made suicide rates go up a lot. And it's a very serious issue that we have to, you know, address. Just, you know, like, steering in that direction real quick. But to come back around. Yeah, so to come back around, like, I think a lot of bands kind of got discouraged. Like, what are we going to do? Like, yeah. you know, are we going to play again? Like, a lot of bands, do they need, like, money, actual money, like, touring and stuff. You can tour, you know? And, uh... I want to give, like, mad respect to our old drummer, too, because he was like, nah, dude, we can still do, like, the... It was kind of cheesy to me, but you know how everybody like filmed their bar and like put 
audience together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just like, we're doing like a live show from your house and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of cheesy, but like people, they really fucked with that stuff, you know? Like as long as we were trying, and like mad respect to him, because he was like trying to keep us going. You know, yeah, trying to keep it going, trying to keep it going. We had just started. So I guess we kind of came out of like the lockdown pandemic thing too. Because we had just started, and it was like shit, like, we had just dropped the EP. Well, it was just like, like a coincidence, honestly. Like, we weren't expecting that when we first formed the band, when we yeah. first started recording music. We were like, oh, it was kind of like the rise. Like, yeah, you know, we have that tribe. We're getting up there. We just dropped some music, and then, like, pandemic hit. Yeah. And we were like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. pretty. But yeah, man, like I said, it's, I feel like a lot of people, they just, you know, for some people, like, you know, di- like, died, the music died within. Some people, like, were born. Yeah. Just depends, I guess, what side of the spectrum you were on. Right. But on that though, I think uh, for art and music in general, that's actually um, a saving grace, like you'd say. Goes going back to mental health. So anybody uh, struggling with mental health, and and especially in those moments, in those crucial moments where you're isolated by yourself, um, like what you guys said, the creative renaissance. That's what helps people, and that's what helps a lot of people. So for you out there, yeah. Uh, reach out and talk to somebody or anybody, you know, uh, let them know what's going on, you know, or also express yourself in yeah. a matter of music, awesome. uh, creative, totally. create something, uh, paint, um, you know, yeah. there's a, so many people that, uh, Matt and I, we went to Lone Star Market, we met a lot of people vending who didn't know they had these he- hidden talents, they didn't know they could make fucking laps or fucking <laughs> t-shirts or they could draw stick figures really fucking cool and shit yeah. just uh yeah. just go out there and be you homie just be try yourself. it you don't just know try. until you try yeah my yeah. advice for that too is a lot of people get kind of scared that oh i don't know if people are gonna like our tracks or like my lamp or like my art so right. there's so many people out there somebody's one gonna person for sure at least one person and then that one person is gonna tell their homie yeah. they tell their home by the time you know it you know you got 10 people at your shows you got 20 people at your shows you got Absolutely. 10 people buying your paintings man so it's, you don't know until you try and just do it don't be scared because someone's gonna like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone's um, gonna like it. Absolutely. You miss every shot you don't take. For real. <laughs> there you go. We start right here, man. <laughs> no, yeah, man. There was this wise man, um, super wise, super, super talented, super genius. Uh, he said, "You can do it, uh, Rob Schneider." You <laughs> can do it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, you can do it for sure. Yeah, and uh, speaking it. of uh, doing it, we gotta, we gotta do it just like LL Cool J. We gotta do it. Put her back into it. Oh no, that's uh, Ice Cube. But Alo Cool J does it too. Yeah, that's LA has been in the game for a long time. This is before I was born. Anyways, shout out to Yeah, yeah that, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was a long ago. time ago. Yeah. It wasn't that long, guys, okay? It wasn't that long, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Dave feel so old, yeah? <laughs> and he's not. But anywho, uh, we got to do some things. We're going to actually all pack up on my skateboard and I'm going to skate to this show. We're going to pick up the rest of the band and we're going to have. These guys, Streetland, perform live for you guys. This is totally not pre-recorded. This is totally live. And uh, yeah, yeah, so it wasn't planned out or anything. We're just going to go and do it, and it's going to be sick. Uh, any last words, you guys, for all the thousands and thousands? Because I have, like, millions and millions of followers and stuff. Um, people in China, fucking Kim Jong-un follows me and shit. Dude, he's really a nice guy. Dude, whatever you got to say, this is uh, not true. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we crop that out? <laughs> I was just, I don't, you know, I don't want to shit on people. Uh, any last words? Right? Let's just yeah, I feel like I'm getting All right. Any last you. words? I'm fire and squad. Oh. I'm squad. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you get anything out of this podcast, one, listen to Street Lamp. Mm-hmm. Two, get in touch with your creative side. Three, mental health is so important. Make sure you reach out. And four, <laughs> Five, listen to Cast Pajamas. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Thank you, Streetlight, for having me. Um, so, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm going to do. That's something like that. But, anywho, uh, Arato Gato. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do
No moshing, the floor is wet as fuck. Be careful, y'all. I'm wet as fuck. Sorry. Too much? Yes, we interrupt this program to bring to your attention that there has been a massive house fire that has just occurred right now. Apparently, some rascals were trying to record something or attempt to record something or maybe they did record something. Maybe you're watching it now. They have brought to my attention they have that last recording that was made in this house. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play that very last recording before this house went up in flames for you now. Can we smoke here?